what's going on here is you've got a little... There's a scratch and a bump, but I think I can fix it. Uh, OK. All right, yeah. <laughs> now, that's, that's fine. Yeah, anyway. yeah just pull that wire there. <laughs> I was just repairing Jeff's podium. <laughs> Apparently, it was leaning to the left. <laughs> and I, I, had to, I had to give it a shunt. <laughs> I had to shunt his podium <laughs> in, in order to... <laughs> in order to make sure it was aligned properly for the beginning of the broadcast. <laughs> Right, Jeff? Oh, sorry. Right, Jeff? That's right. Yeah. So, anyway, um, if you're just joining us and you've never seen this show before, you're probably thinking, what the f*** is going on? <laughs> well, it's perfectly simple. I am a rabbit from North London who likes to swear it sounds a bit like David Beckham. <laughs> Although I wasn't on the show last, last night because David Beckham was on and I was a bit frightened to be here <laughs> at the same time as David Beckham was on in case he judged me. <laughs> you went... Oh, sorry. You went a bit quiet. You went a bit quiet when David Beckham was here. Oh, I think you liked him. Oh, yeah, he smelled good. <laughs> what did he smell like, then? Soccer balls. <laughs> What's happened? Your podium's gone all misaligned again. Look! <laughs> I'm going to have to give it another shunt. <laughs> yeah, would you, would you please? Yeah, well... Should I have to show another shunt in my podium? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to, we have to take... Oh, oh, there, there you are. We have to take a break. Tell them that we'll be right back after these messages and don't <laughs> around. We'll be right back after these messages and don't around. <laughs> the Lake Lake Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by... if you weren't just a machine. <laughs> a machine made up of awesome, sexy people. <laughs> Wait a minute, Craig. You're just pandering to the studio audience to get them on your side. Yes. <laughs> and they are awesome, sexy people. <laughs> Just like you, you're awesome. <laughs> Say your affirmation with me, everybody. I'm awesome, I'm sexy, I've got a great ass. <laughs> you too, ladies. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America. It is. It is, it is of course. It, it is, of course, Friday, but it's not any Friday. It's the greatest Friday in three years. Why? I'll tell you why. Because today, after three years, the band Coldplay have released a new song. It, yeah, hey. It's called, yeah, all right, 
That's enough. That's all right. Don't overdo it or I'll start getting mad at you. <laughs> the new Coldplay song is called Every Teardrop is a Waterfall. And this was called... And it's the story of Glenn Beck. Uh, <laughs> Teardrop be a waterfall. It's impossible unless you cry on a midget. <laughs> now, I, listen, I listened to the new Coldplay song today, and like every other Coldplay song, I didn't think I'd like it, but I did. I liked it. It made me, you know, snap my fingers and tap my foot, and my balls disappeared completely. <laughs> If you happen to be uh, going to Dublin, Ireland this weekend, boy, are you in for a treat. Because uh, <laughs> uh, this weekend, Dublin is hosting the World Atheist Convention. Hooray! Yeah, wait! Wait a minute. Wait. Craig, are you advocating the rejection of belief in the existence of deities? No! <laughs> so don't write to me angry letters uh, where you're people of all religions and uh, saying stuff. <laughs> If you must send them, send them uh, to Andy Rooney at CBS. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm sure this World Atheist Convention will be a barrel of laughs, though. It'll be, it'll be hilarious. <laughs> I just think it's weird that they're having it in Dublin, Ireland. I mean, it's not, it's not exactly the place I choose to introduce alternative religious beliefs. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about here. Dub Dublin, of course, is uh, home to the world-famous Guinness Brewery, and Guinness is something that I used to believe in very religiously. <laughs> it, in fact, still holds a rather mystical appeal to me. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, the Queen of England, yeah, that one, she visited... <laughs> There's more than one? There's hundreds of them out there in West Hollywood. But... <laughs> but the Queen of England visited the Guinness Brewery, it's, and it didn't turn out well. She had a bit too much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> do we, we wouldn't happen to have a picture of what happened, do we? Do we? Oh, man. That's bad. That's... Oh, yeah. Someone wrote on her leg as well. That's... I look forward to those letters, too. Anyway. I'm talking about the World Atheist Convention. An atheist uh, convention is a mass gathering of people who could be described as godless, or as we call it in Hollywood, Hollywood. <laughs> I guess you don't get a ton of advertisers for the World Atheist Convention, no. Brought to you by Starbucks. There's no afterlife, so just stay awake all the time. <laughs> you know, it'd be pretty easy to make a speech at an atheist convention, though. You just take a sermon, and then after every line you go, Yeah, right. <laughs> and then say, say another line and go, Oh, please! <laughs> In the olden days, this is true, they believed that whenever an atheist walked into a house of worship, he would scream and wave his arms around wildly. Now we know that only happens when I walk into a shoe sale at Nine West. <laughs> now listen, I am not an atheist. I know some people who are. It's okay, this is America, we can believe whatever we want. But as for me, I'll tell you what I believe. I believe that children are the future. Teach them well and <laughs> let them lead the way. Show them all! the beauty they possess inside, give them a sense of pride and smoke crack. <laughs> CBS cares. I just think that it's interesting that atheists from around the world are having a convention this weekend. But I guess this is a good weekend if you want to prove there's no God, because it's the weekend that Coldplay have a new song out. <laughs> Because even God's going, every teardrop's a waterfall. Ah, oh, please. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, listen, I've got nothing against atheists, but some of them really, they just, uh, they love telling you they're atheists. They just come up with, hi, nice to meet you, I'm an atheist. They go, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> They love telling you how awesome it is to be one of them. They're like, they're like vegans, but with more body fat and less armpit hair. <laughs> they are. I met a lot of atheists who seem kind of smug. They acted like they're smarter than me because they're atheists. And I usually, I say, oh, atheist, yeah, you're not smarter than me. You're a stupid poopy pants. <laughs> you're a stupid poopy pants. Stephen Hawking, famous <laughs> atheist. <laughs> That's right, Stephen Hawking is an atheist. After we die, he believes after we die, absolutely nothing happens. Kind of like what happens after winning American Idol. But you got it, man! Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, so I can talk about...
talking about atheism for 10 minutes, but the minute I talk about Eric American Idol, you're like, oh, don't you talk about American Idol. Don't you be messing with American Idol. Where are your spiritual values? I was talking about Stephen Hawking. Now, that is a smart dude. How smart is he? Well, he's so smart, it only takes him half an hour to watch an episode of 60 Minutes. That's how smart he is. He, he was, he's so smart, he knew Ricky Martin was gay before the announcement. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, police. <laughs> you an atheist? Do you believe in God? You know, I used to be an atheist. I was a dyslexic atheist. Uh-oh, here we go. Yeah. yeah, I used to lay awake at night wondering about the existence of dog. <laughs> you working on your Vegas act or something? What the hell is going on? Yeah, yeah, I thought we were going on the road together. But you and me together? Yeah. Well, what's the billing then? Jeff Peterson and friend? Oh, so you've seen it then. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to go on the road together. We'd be we'd be spending a lot of time together, cooped up in small areas. Sounds like what we do after yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it kind of sounds like uh, things at home, really. We we live in the same house, don't we, Jeff? Yeah, we sure do. <laughs> I feel kind of strange. <laughs> I feel tingly. <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Now, listen. Now, listen. Uh, before you uh, point out the inaccuracy uh, earlier on in tonight's show, earlier on in the show, uh, the uh, rabbit Sid said that David Beckham was on the show last night, which is, of course, wrong. <laughs> was on the show on Wednesday night. This is Friday night, so clearly... <laughs> clearly the rabbit was in some way confused due to his proximity to Jeff's podium. <laughs> <laughs> Time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? The tweet is on. <laughs> It's on the street. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Do the thing. Tweet up. Tweets will set you free. Try seven times. Tweet the night with me. Check the tweets. And also email. This is from Julie in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, you, ever, uh, you ever been to Atlanta, Georgia? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a little the place there. Yeah, you got a little swimming yeah. uh, and a throw yeah. beach Come and people. Yeah, right. love it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Julie says, uh, Dear Craig, my boyfriend and I are high school sweethearts and have been dating for 15 years. Do you think he'll ever propose? <laughs> Sure he will. You just keep waiting. <laughs> you have any opinion on that? I just think it's crazy he's been in high school for 15 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, well, some people are not that bright. It takes them a while. What a dumbass. Yeah. This is from Mary in uh, Chicota in Oklahoma. You ever been in Chicota? <laughs> ever been in Chicota, Oklahoma? Got a little place there. Yeah, sure, yeah, the yeah, beach, yeah, the yeah, beach, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no! I threw it off my desk. I forgot to even oh, read my question. Yeah, me. <laughs> I can't even use my other hand. <laughs> That's not what the rabbit told me. All right. This, this show is developing a dramatic sexual subtext. Have you noticed that? Shunt. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, people that enjoy trains. Uh, this is from John in Richmond, Virginia. Have you got a place in Richmond, Virginia? Well, I'm sure I do. I'll well, 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 Who cares? Uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Did you ever notice how nicely developed Secretariat's front legs are while his back legs are just aren't especially? I've, I never noticed that, Jeff. Do you think we should take an opportunity to find... Should we... I think we should take a closer look. Who's on?
I gotta say, I gotta say that during that, du during that Secretariat appearance, I did notice that the back legs were trying a bit harder than they normally do. <laughs> Did you notice that? Yeah, I definitely noticed it. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, this is from Jim in Tallahassee, Florida. You got a place in Tallahassee, Florida? Give me that, that one. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I blew it with this girl I'm in love with. In the movies, the guy always does something to win her back. Any ideas that could help? Well... Wait till she's getting on a plane and then run through the airport and, you know, get past security somehow. <laughs> And get onto the up to the plane and go, wait, wait! And then she'll look at you and go, well, he's not crazy, I'll be with him. <laughs> That's how it works, buddy. That's how it works. This is from David in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He says, uh, you got a place there? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. I'm thinking of building my own robot this summer. Do you have any advice for me? Don't. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Tutsi frutsi. Don't. I'm not meaning anything passive aggressive here. I don't want you to think that I'm being any way passive aggressive about Jeff. <laughs> this is from Mandy in Austin, Texas. Uh, you ever been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, hi, Craig. I'll be traveling to the UK for the first time this summer by myself. Any tips for me so I don't get ripped off? <laughs> ripped off? You won't get ripped off in the UK. They don't care about your stuff. They got their own stuff. They're like, oh, we've got lovely collection of cockles here. We don't need any American stuff. We've got lovely cockles. <laughs> Enjoy cockles, Jeff. I love cockles. Yeah, co <laughs> lovely cockles. You know, it's the uh, seafood. You get them and you take them out and you, they're lovely. You, they're delicious with... Um, um, uh, uh, sausages. That's how you eat them, right? Wieners. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, this is from Naomi in Carborough, North Carolina. She says, Dear Craig, how much does Jeff get paid for doing the show? <laughs> Witty toaster. <laughs> Did I hurt your feelings there when I said that? Sorry. I'm standing right here. <laughs> he doesn't have feelings. Don't awe the robot. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. This is from Lacey in Wichita, Kansas. Oh, I love Wichita. Wichita line, man, way down the line. Which is all line, moon, way down the <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, do you wish you were someone else for a day? Uh, who would it be? Uh-oh. Anybody, really, I'll take. <laughs> I, I, listen, I'll even take the woman that's been waiting 15 years for her boyfriend to propose <laughs> right now. <laughs> Jeff, you ever wish you were anyone else for a day? Liberace. Your wish is granted. Thanks. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show. You should have been here during the break. We were playing ZZ Top songs and clapping along. I was like, why are you clapping along to ZZ Top songs? I'm listening to ZZ Top because I want to hear the... And all I can hear is... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Luckily, my first guest tonight is a very beautiful actress. That's a risk. I'll take it. <laughs> She's in a new film, Mr. Popper's Penguins, which was in theater. Isn't that a rude... Poem? <laughs> Mr. Popper's Penguins, which is in theatres June the 17th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome... <laughs> Please welcome Carla Gugino, everybody. Carla
Look at you. You look smoking. You look fantastic. Thank you very look much. You. I thought I should wear color for you. You oh, know, just a little yeah. spice it's, it up. It's the, you know me, purple just uh, sets me off. <laughs> I know, I know. I feel that I should explain that clip because it sort of seemed as if he possibly had fathered those penguins or something. <laughs> it, it, it is called Mr. Popper's Penguins. It was and then you see Jim Carrey with some penguins and you say, you look who's a new dad. And I'm like, he, I, I had nothing to hell? do with it. That's what I want you to know. I had nothing to do with, with the, the penguins. Right. So. Um, no, no, in fact, in fact, the penguins are sent by his father who was out in the Antarctic for his whole life. And finally, the father sends these penguins to him. What's wrong with and, the postcard? I mean, you know. <laughs> Then you have no movie. Well, that's true. Mr. Popper's postcard is like, yeah, it's like five minutes. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's fantastic. So the penguins are high, or high jinks that would ensue, I would imagine. Probably. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. mean, I don't want to give anything away, but you know, it's. Yeah, no, I, it's Jim Carrey. You can tell. Penguins. There, it's uh, Angela Lansbury also. Angela Lansbury's mm -hmm. in that? Movie? How cool is that? Oh, wow, that's awesome. Do we have a picture of Angela Lansbury? There she is. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, you know we do that here. You know we I do that. I heard rumors. Yeah, yeah, no, we do that. <laughs> she's amazing. She, you know what I thought? I met her once, actually, Angela Lansbury. She's about eight foot tall, isn't she? I mean, she's enormous, isn't she? She is really tall. She's also really amazing. She is sharp as a tack. I mean, if we could be as sharp as she is, you know, right now, we'd be lucky. I mean, this woman is... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Friends. You come out here wearing the purple saying, dress, everything going on, I think things are going well, things are going And then suddenly, boom! If you were as sharp as Angela Lansbury, you might have a show. You're right, though. You're right. There's no arguing with it. You have lots of very good qualities. She just happens to be particularly astute. This I was blown away by her. And she's like 82 years old. Really? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. She looks good in her photograph as she well. She really does. Yeah. She really does. That yeah. haircut was different than the last yeah, time no, I saw that her. Yeah, that was a short yeah. haircut. She yeah. was going through an experimental yes, phase. Yes, yes, yes. And don't we all, really? Did you? Did you go, oh, <laughs> did you go through an experimental phase? Maybe at college when you were snowed in? Um, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I didn't go to college, in fact. You so, didn't? No. Neither did I. I am also stupid. Yes, yeah. either you have it. That's what I'm talking about. Did, did, you, did, you, did you drop out of high school? No, no, no. No, I was, a, I was valedictorian, actually. It was a very strange... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That, well, I know. It's then weird. why didn't you go to college? I was going to, and then, I, and then you know, acting. Took ah, and, and I see. That was what happened, and I ended up becoming a, a, a child actor, That's which is so strange. Yeah, no, that, that's plan. almost my story. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the valedictorian <laughs> and the child actor, and the, uh, yeah, but uh, uh, no, I, I, I kind of dropped out. Yeah. I regret that. Do you ever regret not getting a college degree? You know, I kind of, I, I do, I do mostly because, I don't know if I gr regret it, but I definitely thought it was going to be a totally different path, but because I love acting so much, it's hard to regret it. Yeah, I know. You know? I get, not can't you get a degree general. in acting? You can get a degree in acting. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah, absolutely. What's it called? I've got time degree to get degrees. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably get one now because you're famous and awesome and everything. You could go and make a speech at a college and they'd be like, Dr. Gugino. Yeah, you'd yeah. get like a fake degree. Yeah, that's yeah. not a fake. You can get your own TV show and give yeah. people advice with that. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd have to do the real deal. You really? Wouldn't you think for you? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, what would you study then if you went back to college? I wanted to study art history at the time, mm -hmm. um, but now that seems like not as interesting to me as it did then. Really? Yeah. Well, you've gone off art? But, uh, but No, I've not gone off art, but now I, I love to travel. I love to see art, but I don't know if I would actually want to sit and look at books and learn it that way, you mm -hmm. know? So what are we talking about then? I Skiing? mean, we we <laughs> we could we could we could start because we were thinking of starting our zoo. Also, maybe I would need to get some sort of a degree for that. We right? were talking about starting mm -hmm. a zoo. Well, mm -hmm. listen, what about penguins right there? Exactly. Okay, let me tell you about these penguins. So right. this is the thing: they had their own habitat on our set in Brooklyn where we were shooting. Wait, wait, wait! These so, are not CGI penguins; they're real no, penguins. No, 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 they're real penguins. I am their girlfriend. There are, I want to see this. There are some CGI penguins in there. I'm not going right. to joke. But there, no, we had an entire we had our troop of penguins. Right. They could not function properly over 40 degrees, so our set the entire time was 39 degrees. Really? At which point I was like, it would be kind of awesome if you would say, like, Carla Gugino works best at 72 degrees. No, no, you... You know? Can yeah. I just say, you work best below about 40 degrees. For, <laughs> uh, I know my reasons, don't <laughs> ask me. There was a lot of that. Yeah, I'll yeah, bet there yeah. was a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Jim Carrey. <laughs> I know exactly what was going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's for the penguins, baby. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, but it was crazy. It was freezing on set the entire time, and I'm not. I'm not good in the cold. Really? 
Now, are, are you? From? I'm from Florida. Oh, That's yeah, that, that would probably work yeah. against you. No penguins in Florida. No, I'm very thin, thin blooded. No, I'm from Scotland. It's, it's quite. I was going to say, yeah, you're, you're a good, tough stock, right? No, no, no. They, there are people like that there, <laughs> but I. But not your people? No, not no. me. I'm more kind of like, eh, it's cold. <laughs> we go Did you do to that Florida? one more time? <laughs> Yeah, no, I do. I do that yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I was thrown out of Scotland. I, Can you stop doing that? Why? <laughs> I don't know. I think you could come up with your own dance move. You what? mean for a horse? That could be called something. Yeah, no, I, I do dance a lot with the, the horse that comes out. I was going to bring him out, but we've done it already. I don't know. I mean, I do love Secretariat. All right. I, I think it would be... Who's that in the dark? Sure. That that horse works best at about 40 degrees. So yes, if you get, I could, I could get above that, yeah, it's not going to work. No. Carla, we're out of time already. I can't believe really? it. Really? Yeah, really. It goes so fast. I know. Um, uh, listen, uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or touch my glittery ball? Well, I did do the mouth organ last time. I, I think, I mean... You know, a glistening, glittery ball. I didn't. Seems appropriate. I didn't. I know. I did not say glistening. I, like I think to, you you I brought like, glistening <laughs> to the party yourself. I, you know, I, I like to sort of fill in the blanks. I, I'll take the glittery ball. Yeah, take the glittery ball. All right. Uh, now, uh, what happens is that uh, we haven't really thought this through, other okay. than I like saying, I uh, touched my glittery ball. But right. other than I, that, I, what we, do we do with it? Well, we're, we're still kind of working. No, don't just. No. Don't just very, grab at it. Don't just grab at it. You're very protective of your glittery ball. It's not ball. that I'm protective. I just want you to do, work up to it, you know? <laughs> You know, what I was doing originally was like you had to wait and then I would say, Mr. Bus Driver, touch my glittery ball. But oh, I see. It wasn't really working, so we need something else. Um, well, I was going to do Think Fast, but now I can't because you won't let me touch it. You know, uh, all right, well, um, what about Think... Okay, do, you, do we make a wish on the glittery That's ball? That's a great idea. What wish, what wish do you want to make? Um, wish, make a wish on my glittery ball. But I can't say the wish out loud then. Well, because it won't come true? Yeah, right? Isn't that the... the no, it won't, like, the wish won't come true if anybody hears it but it's this show nobody's gonna hear it so yeah. okay all right don't you gotta wish for something you gotta wish for something comedic and sexy oh no will you do my wish for me i'll make it now, if, I, if i if i do your wish it'll just get beeped out <laughs> all right then let's uh, let's just uh can i hold it while you're making the wish yeah go on there. okay that's awesome. I, uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Your glittery ball is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can make the wish no, for it's, us. It's, it's turned into an awkward pause, hasn't it? <laughs> Kelly Pacino, everybody. Welcome back. Jeff and I were just entertaining the studio audience with our dance routine. And they loved it. They loved it. I think this is going to be big. And so is the dance routine. See what I did there? See what I did? In your bed. Oh, yeah. All right, my next guest is a, a lovely actress and comedian. She's in that new film that everybody's gone crazy for, Bridesmaids, which is in theatres now. Take a look at this. <laughs> I've got that exact same tattoo! <laughs> Please welcome Rebel Wilson, everybody. May I compliment you on a spectacular dress choice? Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's very nice. I like a bit of green yeah. and it's I was, lovely. It I was going to wear my pyjama jeans, but then I thought maybe this might be a better option. Well, pyjama jeans is all right. They're you comfortable. Have, they are comfortable. I've got a pair. <laughs> I've got a pyjama jean waistcoat as oh. well. <laughs> I like to sleep formally. Yeah. Congratulations on the movie. It's an enormous success. Oh, yeah, everybody's gone crazy, though. I they? know. What a good job to get as my first movie I did here in America. Yeah. You're not American? No. 
no, I'm I'm from Australia. Australia. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this show goes out in Australia, you yeah. know. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of snakes in Australia as well. <laughs> yeah. Does it frighten you? No, because um, we're not. I used to live out in the bush. We had a lot of snakes. We don't call it that in America. <laughs> Not that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Um. Lesbian Rose Hall kind of in a turmoil now. But, uh, we used to have a lot of snakes come up on the back porch at yeah. night time when you were sleeping. And so in the morning, you'd just see their snake skins everywhere. It's like they're Cinderella snakes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you ever take a snake skin and try and go and match it to a snake in the bush? No, because okay, I was too scared of that would be stupid. Dying. Yeah, yeah. That. It's part of Australia. You're yeah. from? I'm from Sydney. Originally. Oh yeah, no, Sydney's a lovely yeah. big town. It's full yeah. of uh, full of uh, they get the beach there. And mm, but I'm from <laughs> not right there. I'm obviously. from the west. <laughs> I'm from the western side, which is the more rough gangster side. Of Sydney. Yeah. You intrigue me, gangster, yeah. uh, Sydney. Yeah. That's, that's, I uh, used to be in a gang there. Wow. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're called the Dingo Baby. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Except so, where were the, did you guys go out into the bush? Um, <laughs> um, we weren't that hardcore. Like, we didn't do drive bys, we just did drive throughs. <laughs> Drive driving. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Did you, was, what kind of a gang was it then? You, you just um, went to different places and ordered uh, some yeah, snacks. Food. That's not really a gang, yeah. you know. I mean. But in Sydney, it's that's pretty. Bad that's pretty. Ass. That's a. That's. Yeah. Did you ever go to Oxford Street in Sydney? I went to Oxford Street a couple of times in Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's where they have the Mardi Gras. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah good times. Yeah. <laughs> So, are you uh, adjusting well to the United States? Are you, um... Yeah, I am. Like, it takes a little while. I know. I've been there's... here for 17 years. Yeah, and there's some things that you have to learn. Right. Like, don't park where there's red. <laughs> it no, took you... me 15 parking fines to work that out. No, no. I thought red is, like, it's the colour of love, so maybe <laughs> they'd love you to park in the red area. We'd love you to park here? What yeah. the hell? That's what I thought. No, no, it's and not. And I didn't realise. No, you must be out of money now then, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, luckily Bridesmaids is doing really it's well. It's doing very well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll be all right. So. Now, your family are still back in Australia? Yeah, all my family is there, yeah, all my brothers and sisters. How many? Do you come from a large family? Um, I'm the eldest of four, so right. there's me, and then my brothers and sisters, um, Liberty, Riot and Anarchy. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I, Rebel is not uh, an assumed name then, it's a given name. Um, yeah, yeah, that's All right. a real name. Were your parents involved in the punk rock movement? Um, they were professional dog showers. Professional <laughs> dog showers? Yeah. Okay, so. what, what kind of dogs did they show? <laughs> they breed um, beagles. I love beagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah beagles they're the are best lovely. Dog. Yeah, they're, they're great. They're, they're the very best. nice. Do you have a lot of them at the house? Um, there was too many, um, so I didn't get much love growing up. Oh. There's heaps of them. Did you just oh? That's been right. We're kind of patronising a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> She's in show business. She's an actress. It's what happens. You don't get much love. You get yeah. into show business. I yeah. understand yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a dog yourself, no? Um, no, because I grew up with so many and right. for the first 12 years of my life I was forced to go to dog shows every single weekend and I was what's called a junior handler, which is kind of like toddlers and tiaras, yeah, but with yeah. dogs. Really? Yeah. So it was like so a, a, a You're dressed in a little outfit and, then the... and you're like, <laughs> got your hair all done, <laughs> but you run around with a dog and, you know, and you sometimes win money and like How do I get dogs. into this game? Um, Am I a little too you old for this You have to get a now? dog. Yeah, yeah, no. I've got yeah. three dogs. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, no beagles. So I've got a French yeah. bulldog, got a Jack Russell and a German Shepherd. Yeah. There's a lot of different types of fartiness Good combo. in my house. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
So are you going to stay in America then? Are you going um, back to Wales? I think so, because I think things are going pretty well now. Yeah, Maybe yeah. in other movies. Once you're in one movie, then they're like, That's Whoa. it. That's it. That's all you need to do. Do Should one. Boom. More. You're in. Yeah, no, yeah. that's it. Yeah. yeah There's no fine. one-hit wonders in no, movie No, actors. no, no. That's yeah. a myth. That's yeah. a myth. Yeah. No, you do one good movie, boom, yeah. you're set for boom. life. Yeah. yeah. Set. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, well, and I really like... If that were like... true, I wouldn't be stuck here, I tell you. <laughs> Look what I did. I spilled water on my shirt right there. Did you see oh, that? Oh, classy. Yeah. 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 I do that. No, it's yeah. all right. It's yeah. fine. In Australia, we say that's a very bogan thing to do. Bogan? Yeah. Bogan's like Australian for redneck, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you might, like, spill things on you. You might have, like, 18 kids. <laughs> That. You might be a bogan if yeah. you, yeah. I see. <laughs> well, we're out of time already. I, um, you, you fancy uh, mouth organ, yeah. awkward pause, or touch my glittery bulb? I got to be honest. Yeah. That's kind of in an embryonic stage right now. I, okay. We don't really know what we're doing with touch my glittery bulb. Yeah. Well, I do like putting small organs in my mouth. Right. right. You're coming right Maybe that. Uh, yeah. This might okay. be a bit smaller than you're used to, but uh, uh, there you go. I do come from Australia. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How do I get it out? Oh, right. there you go. Uh, sorry, uh, rude of me. Would you like me to unwrap it? No, uh, it's okay. Sorry, do you want me to move this? Uh, <laughs> it might be safer, though, to keep the wrapping on. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky. That was cheeky. That was cheeky. <laughs> No, you. Uh, it's not the same with a wrapping on. I know it's safer, but it's just not the same. Uh, <laughs> gonna do a duet? Yeah, all right. Can you play uh, this thing? No. <laughs> I like your technique of speaking and playing it at the uh, same time. Uh, this is good. It's this a is bit a like. Yeah, it's like being a robot. A uh, robot. I got a robot. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Mm. <laughs> Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Next week on The Late Late Show, Don Cheadle, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Bacon. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> the atheists aren't going to like that bit of the end. Uh, like, uh... Oh, man, poor kitty. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Say good night, Jeff.